Hey guys, it's me, Peekaboard25 here, and today I have a follow-up video to a video I uploaded about, say, June-ish? June, July? Yeah, if you remember it, I've actually got a request in the comment section to have some more updates on the VR Raging Bull thanks to a commenter, uh, Taylor Patterson, or Tyler Patterson, or I don't exactly remember your name, but I just remember the Patterson part and it starts with Taylor or Tyler or something. It's one of those names esque. Sorry if I screw it up for you. But today, I have a little update. Um, I have all these rides here the Great America All Rides homepage. We'll spin down all the way to the bottom because we want to find Raging Bull because this is a follow up video for the what would exactly be um, what would be VR. And oh, my bad about that. What do we get? Raging Bull, no VR. And what do we get? Battle of a Rage of the Gargoyles. And Gargoyles is going to be placed on Demon. If we look at the homepage there. So, from what I can imply, um, Raging Bull will not be getting VR. And thank goodness for that. I had my first encounter with VR for... Uh, uh, at Six Flags New England for Superman the Ride. It, it was a PR nightmare. It was inefficient. I was stacked with the uncomfortable lap bars for like two to three minutes. Um, it, the line was incredibly long and I opted without VR just so I wouldn't have to wait any longer. I was like, I was in the line for about an hour, hour and a half. It was ridiculous. I'm glad they're putting it on Demon, which granted, it's not the best coaster. Sure, I mean, the Rage of the Gargoyles video game VR uh, interactive power thing is pretty nice. It did say we were. it is going to be on Demon. So it's good to know, and I'm really happy to figure out that, uh, um, that well, Raging Bull not getting VR. And that is really happy for me. Here's Demon here, and then Rage of the Gargoyles for some reason is all the way down the bottom because they count that as a separate ride. Which is kind of stupid, but... It's Six Flags. They're going to do everything they can to get another coaster under the belt. It's it's Six Flags. And then also a few updates. I saw a few things are temporarily closed because you might be wondering why I'm not covering those. Uh, I'll scroll all the way back down. Sorry about the seizures. East River Crawler is closed yet again because I remember a, year, a couple years back, that thing was down for the whole season. Jester's Wild Ride is down for the season. Which, that is kind of weird. I, I, that ride is actually kind of reliable. I've never actually seen that ride down, but then again, who cares about Jester's Wild Ride? I went in it once, and it was more of a nightmare than an actual ride. Because the accounts that had that Jester right here, staring you down while you ride. And no angle is safe. It's kind of intimidating. Kind of creepy. Very creepy. Loggers Run temporarily closed. Uh, that's kind of odd. I mean, it's still August, so... There's a lot of things going on there. Could this imply something big, or it's probably just standard maintenance? Is uh, here's the scenic railway is closed for the season. Uh, I think I also said a few other things are closed for the season. Yes, East River Crawler is closed for the season. Justice Royal Ride is closed for the season. So like main, I think it's probably maintenance. If anything, I'm not because they're so far scattered out that I don't think they're going to be torn out for anything. They would never tear out the scenic railway. It's just so compact, and it's all just a nice ride. And I think, how much money am I willing to bet that Yankee Clipper is closed? Because, if yeah, Yankee Clipper is pretty much always closed. What is it? No, Yankee Clipper is actually up. That's really odd. Just Why is Logger's Run closed and Yankee Clipper is up? It's always the other way around. I'm sorry for this video being kind of in shambles. I just saw a comment, and I was like, okay, I should probably follow up on this. I'm definitely getting all side side sidelined with all this. But yeah, just a bunch of fun stuff. Basically, the summary is that I really am happy that Raging Bull is not getting VR. It is great as is. Definitely a solid ride. Probably one, in my opinion, the best in the park. It's a nice, long, fun, fast ride. Even though speed does not really matter too much. The coast can move 50 miles per hour to be really fun. And then it's good to know that Demon will be getting it. 
So more people might flock to that 1980 old arrow quadruple looper and uh, because it has VR and uh, and Demon definitely might be saved a bit. Granted, that thing does still have that slow spot in the lift tail. And Arrow does not around the replace parts. All that fun stuff. I just basically, I don't ride Demon anyway. When I visit, I don't ride Demon. I just don't. Because it's not a good ride. It's probably in my bottom 15. I'm not going to spoil it. I mean, I might be a bit of a spoiler, but still. I don't remember from the top of my head. You'll see in my top 100 coaster... Countdown Bonanza coming up soon. But yeah, this has been my little quick update on VR Raging Bull. It's good to know this whole this this whole thing has just been resolved. It's it's good to know that this whole thing's just been resolved. It's uh, I and it's good to know that lesser coaster coaster that's more fitting of VR gets it. Even though it might cause like some more unexpected headaches, because you know you're being whipped around with VR and all that, but still, it's uh, it's still a fun ride, and it's well, not not really demon. Demon just kind of sucks, and it's good to know they're throwing something pretty bad on, on an already bad coaster. So I'm not a big fan of VR. I really, I still hold true to the statement that this that VR trend should just die out next year, 2018. Should just die out, cause. It's probably just more more hurt, more harm than good. But anyway, guys, this has been Peter25 with a quick VR Raging Bull update. And as always, peace.